Hello, class. Welcome. Hello, Miss Jessica. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank God it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Woo! Okay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know. Do you have plans for the weekend? Yes. Yeah, what plans do you have? Uh, I, I clean the house. I go. I will clean the house. In another domestic task. Oh, okay. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, Marvin. Welcome. Marvin. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Man. Hi. How are you? Very good, man. Oh, so good. Uh, um, well, it sounds like you're going to have a busy weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. But but you're happy. You're excited about it. I can hear it. Yes. Mm -hmm. OK. OK, good. I'm glad to hear that. OK. Uh, Carla, do you have any plans for the weekend? Just work, teacher. Only working? Yeah. Really? Wow. All weekend, huh? All weekend. Oh, no. OK. Um, OK. And um, how was yesterday? Was it very busy at work? Yeah, teacher. It was very busy. And can you imagine? <laughs> that, shift, that shift is very hard. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, well, teacher. Good evening, Jerry. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm <clears throat> sorry to hear that, but um, at least you know. Well, there's there's uh, when when there's a lot of movement in a job, at least there's no way to get uh, to get bored, right? At the time. Yeah. This, yeah, and and I and I love to to work so it's part of the of the daily activity yeah yeah exactly good good okay all right um okay guys welcome so um let's start first of all with our attendance um so anna claudia present teacher welcome welcome <laughs> andres andres no Okay, that's not here. Edgar? Mm -hmm. No, okay. Uh, Janet? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Janet. Uh, Fabiola? Fabiola's not here? Okay. All uh, right, Heidi? Present teacher. Welcome, Heidi. Irene? Irene, is Irene here? <clears throat> no, okay. All right, um, Ivan. Is Ivan here? Ivan? Ivan? I know he's somewhere around there. Ivan? No, Ivan, okay. All right. So he doesn't answer. Um, Johnny, no. Uh, Josue? I'm here, teacher. Welcome, Okay. Uh, Juan Alberto? Juan Alberto, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm switching the, night, the names, I'm sorry. Juan Francisco, I'm sorry. Juan Francisco is not here? I guess not. Okay. All right. He's not here. Um, jury. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Carla. Present teacher. All right, Carla. Excellent. Um, and we. We. No. Okay, Manuel Alejandro. Alejandro, no. 
Marvin, Marvin Winfredo. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Wendy, Wendy Patricia. Present teacher. Welcome. Warner. Warner Mauricio. Not here, okay. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Francisco Javier. Okay. Uh, Jenny, Jenny Quesada. Okay. All right. I'm going to repeat the, the names of the people that I heard, that I, sorry, that I didn't hear. Okay. So Andres, Edgar, Fabiola. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Irene. Um, Ivan. Present teacher. Present teacher. There he is. Uh, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, okay, um, and then I heard Manuel, Manuel Alejandro. Um, <clears throat> Werner, Francisco Javier, and Jenny. Okay, all right, that's it. So I've got everybody. So welcome guys, and thank you for connecting on time. Remember there are there are only two classes left of this module and we need to make sure we have all the attends we can have. Okay, so I'm thankful that you guys um, connected on time. So thank you very much for that. So let's uh, start first of all. Oh, by the way, everybody received, before, before I forget, everybody received the email or the WhatsApp. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Did anybody not receive it? Yes, I was up. Yes, teacher. O sea, quiero, quiero asegurarme que recibieron ya sea el, el correo o el WhatsApp. O los dos, ex, 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 excelente. Pero, los dos, teacher. Sí. Por lo menos uno de los dos. ¿Sí? Hay alguien que no haya recibido absolutamente nada. Ok, quiero, quiero asegurarme porque ya para el lunes tenemos que hacerlo y quiero asegurarme que todos lo tengan para que tengan la información. Ahora, ¿se han asegurado que tienen toda la información que ustedes ya necesitan, verdad? ¿Sí? Sí, dicho. Ok, sí, dicho. En algún momento ven ustedes que no, por favor. Okay, all right, guys. So um, we are going to begin. Please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, we see. All right. Okay, good. So here we go. So this is the beginner module six for trainings. And today is, oh, sorry. <laughs> No, Eva, sorry, so that's not, it's Friday. Yay, Friday. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. So it's Friday, <laughs> 2021. It's day number 19. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerra. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so let's begin with um, this. This is something that I asked you guys to do yesterday. This was your turn. It says, write seven questions about past events and introduce one or two classmates. Remember that I asked to do this for homework? Yeah, okay. So all you had to do was create seven questions using did. Okay, that's it. Only using did. So it should have looked something like this. Like, uh, for example, did you, um, did you work yesterday? 
something like that, right? So it, it, it should have looked something like that, right? I mean, I mean, the questions are all gonna be different, right? But, but it should have looked something like that, okay? So, um, okay, so um, now that you have written the questions, you're going to be interviewing one or two classmates. So you're gonna join your assigned breakout room Ask your classmate the questions and answer them. Okay, so you're going to be asked. You're going to be um, making the interview to your your partner. Okay, are the instructions clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Sure. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's see. Um, I want to make sure that I have enough people. Um, okay. All right. So you are interviewing with seven questions and your partner is interviewing with seven questions and you have to answer. But like I've always told you guys, I do not want you to limit yourself to just answering yes. Oh, by the way, before I open the rooms, I just want to make sure that everybody understands how to answer. Okay, so could you guys um, remember, remind me how you would answer this question? Did you work yesterday? Can you answer that for me? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I worked yesterday. Okay, yes, I did. No, no, or, I didn't. No, I did not, or I didn't. No, I did not, or no, I didn't. But it's best to say, no, I didn't. Uh, because I did not, it sounds, I don't know, it just doesn't sound right. It sounds weird. Okay, so, yeah, uh, yes, I did, no, I didn't. But just as Haiti was mentioning, yes, I don't want you guys to just limit yourself to yes or no. I want you to give more answers right so you're you're not just going to say yes i did no i didn't okay so for example if you say did you work yesterday yes i did i um i started work uh in my regular schedule from eight in the morning till five in the afternoon or for example um yes i did but i didn't work all day i only worked half day or for example no i didn't i rested all day um but I didn't get paid, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I want you guys to give more answers because the idea with this is to work together with a partner and interview. And interviews, that's how it works, right? Like you um, you ask, and, but like, um, well, they, they, the, the idea is for you guys to practice your English, right? So that's what I, guys, I want you guys to make sure you do, okay? Is that clear for everybody? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Um, just give me a moment. Should I'm going to give you guys 15 minutes because um, you know it's an interview. Okay, so here we go. Let's open up all the rooms. Okay. Oh. 
you hear me? <laughs> I'm going to turn off the video maybe because of the video. Can you hear me, Luis? No, no, Haiti, we can hear you. Okay. With the video, we can hear you too. Luis, can okay. you hear us? It's that I couldn't hear, Luis. Luis, can you hear us? Can you hear us, Luis? Luis? Yes, I know you. You can hear us? Okay, you're having internet problems. So, how about if you turn off the camera? No. Hello, can you hear us? Luis, can you hear us? Yes. I think his internet is not stable right now. Um, Luis, can you hear us well? I thought it was me, but maybe not. Luis? Hello. Hello. Okay, now we can hear him. Okay, so it's raining. Okay. So just just work like that without the camera. Um, that way maybe it will be easier. Okay, just for the moment. Okay. All right. So continue. Continue working. Oh. Please want me to to make a question first. Or what you can do is um, you can also in, in if um. It's a moment Haiti can't hear you. You can write the answers in the chat. Okay. 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 So go ahead. Pretend I'm not. I here. guess he can hear. Okay, Luis. Did you celebrate Father's Day yesterday? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. I I have another. <laughs> I have. Teacher is in the house. Okay, I have another. And yesterday, did you celebrate the Father's Day? The uh, Father's Day? No, I didn't. Okay. Why? Because if your son is far away for you, but you are father. Yeah, I, I received the uh, congratulation only, but I I was work. Okay, and in your company, they don't celebrate this 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 time this day. Uh, no, no. Okay, in my company, we are we were celebrating last Wednesday for all the fathers. In the company, there are a lot of fathers. There are mm -hmm. uh, um, at least three hundred fathers. Oh. Approximately, <laughs> and then we were celebrating with them last Wednesday. Okay. Uh, issue green and now water in the day. No, I didn't. Only Coca Cola. <laughs> Only Pepsi. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you go to the gym? Uh, to the, can you repeat the last word? Did you go to the gym? The last week? No, I didn't. Remember, don't limit just to, you know, I didn't uh, give more explanation. Oh, okay. No, I didn't because I, I was very busy. 
-hmm. Okay. Uh, did you finish the homework yesterday? Okay. Uh, I have another. Okay. Uh, this, this uh, did you eat lunch to yesterday? Repeat, please. Did you eat lunch yesterday? Okay. Where did you cook for dinner last night? Um, here in my home, I don't go any place. <laughs> I prefer yeah. staying home. Where did you buy your, your, your cell phone? My what? Repeat again, please. Where did you buy your cell phone? Um, with my phone plan with DSL. I DSL. I, I bought to DSL my Last Would you recommend it? Yes, I recommend the service from the event. It's much cheaper than other. Um, yeah. cheaper. No cheaper. more cheaper. No more cheaper. Cheaper. It's cheaper. cheaper. Oh, it's good I, to, to hear that. I say it in like Salvadorian language. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and where do we? Uh, did you watch the Mortal Kombat? Uh, my doctor uh, said me that uh, we, I need the treatment all, uh, for my, all my life. I don't know if it's correct. De por vida. Mm. Because the migraine uh, is no don't uh, is, is solution. no don't have solution only only I can uh, take the pill and my 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 pain is is um, is down. But not this, no, no, uh, disappear. No disappear. Yes, I have a, a treatment. Uh, I take the three pills all day, all day. And my, ex, I, I go to the doctor one or two times uh, for months. And I, he um, take the exam, take the exam. I don't know it's correct. Take the, the, the exam. Uh, what, what do you mean take the exam? Uh, uh, clinical, clinical exam. I don't know. Is correct? Like, like, um, to do like, lab, like lab works. Yeah. No. Go to uh, lab. examine. Yes. My so doctor lab says works. Exam. That's what you call it, lab works. Lab works. To do. To do okay. Labors. To do lab works. Do lab works. Lab works. No. Lab, lab works. works. Lab works. 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 Trabajo de laboratorio, algo así. La works where we use the mm -hmm. works kind of like um like tests. Mm. Yeah. Mm, for example, eh, how, do you, how do you say encefalograma? Like a well, you see, you, you, um, electrocephalogramma, you, you call it E, well, it's in English, it's E, 
E G. Oh, okay. In the, in the, the, or, the siglas. Yeah. Or you can just say electrocephalogram. Uh, electrocephalogram. Usually, My doctor. usually oh. doctors, doctors will just say E E G. They just call okay. it. E -E Okay, my doctor uh, take a electroencephalogram uh, for uh, two times in the month. Uh, no, 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 sorry, in the year. Um, this is my story, Yuri. <laughs> This is, uh, I'm sorry because uh, right now uh, my mind is very slow. Uh, did you eat your breakfast early? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, regularly, regularly, I eat uh, my breakfast at 7 o'clock in my work. Okay, did you send emails to your boss? Yes, I did. I sent many reports uh, to my boss uh, daily. Okay, did you report the sales to your boss last month? Um, yeah. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, tell me, uh, Janet. Um, through mm -hmm. the my doctor. Ah, okay. Instructions from your doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, did you work on holiday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, um, uh, I don't know. Tell me something. But... Uh -huh. At home. <laughs> ah, okay. So you stay at home? Yes. Okay, I stayed. Vaya, y si sí puedes usar el pasado, I stayed at home, porque estás respondiendo. Okay, eh, did, you work the, uh, did you work last weekend? No, I didn't. I was medically. Excellent. I was in medical leave. Eh, la otra, did you meet your colleagues today? Did you meet your colleagues today? Uh -huh. No, I didn't. Um, just uh, observation. Mm -hmm. Colleagues is on the first. Ah, colleagues. First colleagues. Week. Okay, ya lo voy a anotar. Y es como con K, ¿verdad? Colleagues. 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 <gasps> Ahorita lo estoy anotando. Colleagues. Okay, thank you, teacher. Did you meet your colleagues today? <laughs> no idea. Okay. And what else? Uh, you didn't care. Mm. Invented, no sé. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Continue. But it is very complicated. No, <laughs> no, dale. No, I didn't. Por qué? Sí. Uh, and the last the last 
Uh, do you answer? No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a by. I make you a question. Did you send emails in your work? Yes, I did. I sent I sent email about the report of, of the cheat. Mm -hmm. And did you report the, the sales to your boss the last month? Sorry, repeat, please. Did you report the sales to your boss last month? Yes, I, yes, I did. Uh, I saw that. I have I 14, 14 questions. I um, are you guys almost finished the questions or do you still need more time to finish them? Yeah, we finished, teacher. Finished? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in the main room then, okay? Okay. Okay, wonderful. So you guys had an opportunity of asking in front of the questions, discussing the answers. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, good, good. Okay, excellent. All right, any questions about um, how to ask questions with um, the simple past? No, it's okay, it's clear. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Teacher, I have oh. a doubt. Okay. Uh, 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 is there a word in English to say antier o pasado mañana? The day before yesterday. Yeah, yeah. antier is the day before yesterday. Okay. Mm. Um, is the day after tomorrow. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, perdón, pasado mañana, ¿cómo es? The day after tomorrow. Okay. So, I, I remember that there is a movie with that name, The Day After Tomorrow. Right. It's a it's an old movie. <laughs> it's uh <laughs> like fifteen years old or something like that. Uh huh. It's a uh, he he's a uh, she is in a uh a cycle uh a while uh recurrent process at the day something like that. No. After tomorrow is um, a movie about um, apocalypse. Yeah, it's, oh, the biggest uh, one. it's supposed to be like some sort of problem with the um, with the earth that um, global warming and there's problems with the core of the earth and and then so it starts making all of these um, global changes climate and then the whole uh the whole planet freezes and yeah <laughs> so that's why <laughs> that's why yes. i call it more because it's supposed to be like a, yeah apocalyptic yeah. Mm. after to break everything yeah 
and and you know in English uh, we're very literal like like you, you know we don't have like a special day for it a special way the day after well, like in the, in Spanish right we say eh, um, pasado mañana eh, antier right um, you know so we don't have those words you know it's just we do it straightforward right so it's the day the day um, before yesterday the day before or yesterday that's how it is any other questions guys that you have yes teacher uh, I don't know if it's me, but I, I haven't been able to solve homework 16 yet. Yeah, unfortunately, um, they haven't, I guess they haven't gone down to that yet. Um, the, the thing is, I imagine, I imagine because I'm not there, right? But I imagine that what's happening is that right now, um, they're very busy with the whole uh, documents things, right? You know, because right now they're receiving all those documents and um, that part is probably, um, you know, delaying things a little bit, right? So, you know, just have a little bit of patience, but I'm sure it will be ready, you know, hopefully for this weekend, right? Or if not, you know, I'll, I'll try to make sure that it's it's done for for monday so because monday will be the deadline right but you know it's just one exercise right so do everything else and um and then on monday you come back and yeah do it. yeah so unfortunately i'm sorry i i mean i i know that it's a little bit like frustrating not being able to do it when you want to <laughs> but um you know we just got to be a little bit patient on that. these things happen okay all right. Okay. Um, Teacher. Yeah. Uh, I have a a dude. No. It's correct. The it's correct. Say, for example, uh, did you celebrate your birthday? Uh, this uh, this year or is este año? Because my 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 question is. Uh, have uh, two times in the in the uh, in the question, past and present. Uh, it's correct. Say, uh, did you celebrate your birthday this year or este año? It's not necessary. Uh, say this year or did specific the este año. Did you celebrate your birthday this year? If it was in January, I guess makes sense. <laughs> well, did you celebrate? That means in the past, right? Yeah, but uh, uh, a specific is este año. Yeah, this year. So this year starts in January. So yeah, if you're you're if you're asking about did you celebrate your birthday this year? You're obviously talking about that the birthday was in the first months of the year. Yes. Because, because you cannot ask, did you celebrate your birthday this year if your birthday is in November? Right? Uh, okay. So if that would be impossible. So you'd say, did you celebrate your birthday last year if it's, for example, their birthday is in November? Or, okay. for example, teacher, if the birthday wasn't the day before yesterday, she can ask, I guess. <laughs> the day before yesterday. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It has to be in the first, the first uh, months of the year, right? Like the months that have already gone by. Like basically, it has to be in the past, right? Mm -hmm. it, like it has to be sometime in the from January till now. Uh huh. Ah, okay, okay. Anytime, but you know, from January to now, because that's that, that's this year, right? 2021 is only from January 1st, 2021 to so far, um, June 18th, 2021, right? So we can't, we can't go further because that would be the future. 
and if I want to ask, the, taking the example, Wendy is, is saying, if I would like to ask to someone who birthday was last week, I just can say, did you celebrate your birthday? Yeah, well, yeah, that would make more sense, right? Because, mm -hmm. um, you know. This in the past was last week. Past, and it's a very near past. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what about the others? Anybody have any more questions you wanna ask? No? Okay. I have an example here. I would like to see is it correct a sentence. Uh -huh. Did you receive did you receive the, the English class yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine. Mm -hmm. Other one. I have other one. Did you go to the celebrate for Father's Day yesterday? Did you go? To celebrate, to celebrate Father Day, to celebrate Father Day yesterday. Yeah. Did you go to celebrate Father's Day, or did you go out? I would probably include the word go out. Go out. Ah, out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it means Better. like you know, basically going Salir. out of the house. Yeah. Salir. Yeah. It, opposed to celebrating inside your house. With your Emphasize what are we going to do? No, just go. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, do you guys have any other questions? Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're going to move on. We're going to continue with our PowerPoint. Hopefully everybody can see this. And we're just going to move on to the last part. So we just we just finished doing this. Share the answers to the whole class. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at this new conversation. But before we look at the conversation, let me ask you two questions. First, when was the last time you attended a training and what was the training about? Okay, so think about when was the last time you attended a training and what was it about? I'm going to return you back to your, your partner. Okay, so the same group that you were in before. You can answer those two questions. When was the last time you attended a training and what was the training about? And don't don't just limit to yourself to saying like, when was the last time you attended a training? Last week. What was it about? Um, customer service. Right? And then boom, the, the conversation is over, right? Like I don't want that. I, I want you guys to, you know, to talk a little bit about that, right? About that training, like ask your partner questions, like really, where was it? Where was the training? Do you recommend, did you, rec do you recommend it? Did you have fun? Was it, val do you, was it helpful, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. Okay, so five minutes, I'm gonna get you to work with your group or with your partner, but so, give me a moment, let me get that. Um, okay, here we go. Work, work, work basis, and it's very nice tool, and we learn how to use it. 
So it was a, a nice training. Okay. A lot. Mm -hmm. How many times is it? Um, um, how do you say it? here. It was the last year. Yes. Okay. And what was the training about? The training about was in the corona coronavirus protocol. Oh. Okay. And how was the the experience to the to the to this topic? How was the previous experience to this topic? Never I I can explain about the the topics coronavirus. Okay. Okay. And how was the how was the info no sorry sorry how was the the last um how was when was the last uh, information that you receive about coronavirus <laughs> i received the information in last month okay, mm -hmm. okay. And okay. yeah. Uh, okay, in my case, my last training I uh, was on day. I this this okay. week. This yeah. week. This okay. week. Uh, yeah. Uh, you talk to about the energy uh, energy renewable yeah yeah okay. teacher I... teacher cómo se dice energía renovable how do you say energía renovable repeat please renewable energy renewable energy okay uh, this training, uh -huh. yes, no, no, está, no, está hablando. Uh, Renewable energy nowadays is a topic so interesting because all the countries we they are working in this way. This a uh, uh, important business for the for the governments in the person. In yeah. the in the companies because in nowadays we are the, the humans the, the la humanidad the mm -hmm. humans they are looking for another ways to to renovar renovar in in el medio ambiente the environment yeah. and and this energy is is in this way I think yeah. yeah. And in this training, I uh, talked about this all energy, uh, the uh, energy eolic. I can see 
this uh, eolic and, and, and what what is the difference what is the difference between energia renovable and energia eolica no is the is the the same the same way ah okay, uh, okay. The, the the eolic uh, energy is energy renewable yeah Renewable energy. 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 Yes, yes. Um, In the, okay. the, the other train I received this week, uh, I'll talk about the uh, the auditor the next month next the next month no this month <laughs> this month yes the, the, the auditor the auditor uh, about to, to how prepare, to prepare to the auditor the, in the okay. inter auditor inter auditor and you you has you review Review different different documents. Uh, the, yeah, the the mission, vision, uh, valores. ¿Cómo sería valores, teacher? How do you say valores? Values. No, no sé si son values. Aquí lo vamos a values. poner valores. Valores. Values. 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 Pero, ajá, values. Pero no Aquí se lo voy a. Values. No sé si, ajá, no sé si es en el mismo contexto. Ajá, gracias. Values. Yo creería Values. que sí. Values. Okay, very good guys. Um, all right, so let's, um, okay, so let's teacher, go on. Uh -huh. Teacher, excuse me. Do you repeat renewable energy? It's correct. Newable. Renewable. Think about new, renew. Renew? Renewable. Renewable. Oh, do you write the teacher, please, in the chat? It's a new word. Thank you. Renewable energy. It's renewable. So renewable? No, renewable. <laughs> Como digo? Renewable. Renewable. Mm -hmm. So tell me, um, I'm going to ask individual people. Um, let me see, Wendy, tell me about the last uh, training that you went to. Sorry, teacher, repeat the question because I have a bad the signal in my Wi-Fi. Repeat, please. No, you have a bad signal. OK. Um, no, I was asking, when was the last time you attended a training? In my case, on the jury case. <clears throat> Sorry? Well, uh, in my case, I did my, my last time, uh, the last time I attended the training uh, was, um, I don't know, how do you say, formación de formadores. In English. Yes, is is the objective is for me the the uh, personal capacitating the 
I can um, take the the training other person, and in this in this training, I can um, take a technical and the core forms the uh, educating other person. Okay. But I don't I don't know what how do you say formation de formador. Um by by formadores, what do you mean? Like like people that if, are, for example for example the teacher the teach uh, other person I can oh. teach other person I and I can uh, the teach the other person and the this person uh, can the teach our other person. So oh, training trainers. Training train. Ah, okay. Training trainer. Yes, it's mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Train. Training. Training trainer. Training trainer. Trainers. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good and. Um, what was my other question? Oh, uh, what was um, so? When was the the, the training? Well, um, is the the objective is the former the trainer? Right, but, but when when was that training? When? Oh, sorry, in the virtual form. No, when, when? The last, the last week. Last week, not the last week, but just last week. Okay, last week, sorry yeah, to say. Guys, I... it, that's actually something very important. Um, we, we do not use the word the when we're talking about last. We don't say the last, okay? For example, last week, uh, we just say last week, not the last week, or last okay, year, teacher. not the last year, okay? So just, um, you know, just be uh, careful with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Teacher, the correct, the correct, teacher, the correct answer is was the training. No, was last uh, only last week. Is correct. Say only last week for the answer. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, last week. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. All right. What about, um, let's see, Johnny, tell me about the last training you had and when was it? Oh, okay. Uh, my last time I attended a training was a couple of months. Exactly was in April. The training was a what did you say? It was exactly where? Exactly, it was in April. Month in, April. In what? I cannot. I can't hear you very well. Okay. Uh, uh, the, my last time I attend a training was a couple month of months. Exactly in in April. In a grill. April. April, I think so. April. April. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Sorry, I don't know why I'm having trouble hearing. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, in April. Okay, sorry. Got yes. it. Uh -huh. And the training was about, um, not remember the program was, is use a, a graphic program. Oh, graphic programs. Yes. Okay, are you a graphic designer? Uh, no, but uh, sometimes I have to do some graphic. Ah, okay, okay, sounds good. All right, thank you, thank you, Johnny. All right, okay, good. So we're today we're going to be talking about trainings, right? And we're going to be actually, um, you know, talking about your impressions of the training. 
and if you recommend it or not. So let's uh, take a look here at our the rest of our PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Can everybody see it? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So we have two people here. These people are Jack and Julie, okay? And they're gonna be talking a little bit about the training. Um, and we're, they're going to talk about um, their impressions of the training and what they thought about it, okay? Their review, let's say, of the training, okay? So I'm going to need a Jack and a Julie. So who's gonna be my Jack? Who's gonna be Julie, my Julie? Me too. Can I be Julie? Okay. Um, are, uh, Janet, did you say did, did you did you say you wanted to participate? Janet? No, no for you. No for no for you. Okay. No, no, but okay, me. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Fine. So, um, Carla and. Janet, um, let's have Janet be Jack. Jack, okay, and Carla be Julie. Okay, hi Julie, this is Jack. How are you thing going at the work? Hello Jack, everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect look. I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you find in the helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased, pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally ran, learned a lot. All right, thank you girls, bravo, very good. Excellent, okay. All right, tell me about any words that you don't understand from this conversation. Something that's not very clear. So everything's clear? What is AID, first aid, aid and prevention? What? Teacher, what is first aid? Correct, yes, first aid. Okay, all right. Any other words that you're not sure about? No, that's it. Oh, wait a second. I just saw that there are more. Um, That's it. Okay, my God. Any other questions? Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, so, okay, the first word is first aid. The word aid, and I'm going to write it in the chat, aid means help. 
that's what I was going to ask you, teacher. What's when when will we use aid and when we we use help? Um, aid is more about uh, like something like an emergency. Okay, so you're giving help in an emergency. That's an aid. Does that make sense? Kind of, because we got projects uh, of U.S. aid, but not necessarily divided of an emergency. Sorry, could you repeat that one more time? The, um, I, I have heard, right, that we got projects of U.S. aid. Have you heard? Oh, but that's the name. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Those projects are not necessarily emer for emergencies. Yes, but that's... That's the, a, a name, it's a proper name. Oh, okay. It's the proper name of, of, of an organization. Just like saying in support. Proper. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, Primero Auxilios. Okay, yeah. So, so the word aid means help, especially when you are talking about like an emergency, okay? Um, we can say that aid is like, um, almost like un socorro, let's say, okay? So first aid, when you put the two words together, what that means is like the, the help that you give somebody in a real emergency, like, you know, in a life or death situation, right? And where you have to um, help the person before the person goes to the hospital. Okay, so sometimes there's an emergency and, you know, you can't wait until the person goes to the hospital for them to get some sort of um, medical help. You have to give them a medical help in the moment, yeah, before they go to the hospital because you need to be able to stabilize them. So that's why it's called first aid. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's primero auxilio. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As we're talking about in an emergency. Okay. All right. The word held. Um, the, the word held comes from the word hold. Okay. So the held is the past participle of hold. So. You understand hold? Mm -hmm. What is hold? Sostener or mantener. Sostener, mantener. Yeah. So when you say it was held at the, at the Crown Plaza Hotel, however, that does not mean that you hold it. Like It means that, um, that it's like it's celebrated. It's organized there. Okay. Like can you say in Spanish? Teacher. The attendance. Yes, I, I will go again to that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it, like, it's just like, for example, when you say um, it, the, the, okay, so that the, it was held, it's like saying, um, oh, yes, I feel like, um, palabra. No tuvieron lugar. Eh. Ofrecido. No, no, no. Ay, my, so tip of my tongue, I said, hold on. Um, llevar a cabo. Mm, okay. Llevar a cabo. Se llevó a cabo. Exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's what was held. Llevar a cabo. O se llevó a cabo. Most of us means the majority of us. Okay. Okay. So most of us means the majority of everybody here, okay? And finally, pleased in this context means happy, satisfied, okay? Got it? Please, okay. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good, all right. So those are the new words. Um, let's go ahead and check out our attendance. 
I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Okay, here we go. The attendance. Um, oh, wait a sec. Just give me a moment. Okay, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Uh, Andres? All right. Uh, Edgar? Uh, Janet? Present teacher. Uh, Fabiola? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Um, Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present Miss. Johnny. Present teacher. Um, Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Carla. Carla. You are mute, Carla. Present teacher. There you go. Okay. All right. Um, Luis. Present. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Uh, so, uh, sorry, uh, Francisco Javier. And Jenny. Okay, all right. So let's continue. Let's go on to the next part. Okay, so what about pronunciation? Any questions about our pronunciation? You can write in the chat. Anything else? Remember, this is where we're looking at pronunciation. Okay, so let's say I, I'm, I'm seeing the trend here. The same words you asked about then when you, but you want to know the pronunciation, that's fine. Anything else? Okay. And I'm just going to. Me hace falta. No te veo en el día. And I'm just going to add this one. Okay. All right. So here we go. Practice, please, after me. Aid. 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 Held. 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 Pleased. 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 Pleased.
Please. Bleed, you say. Now, S? Bleed. Okay, hold on. Please. Um, please. 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 Practices. 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 There you go. Practices. All right. Questions? No questions? All right. So it's time to practice. Okay. So it's time now to practice. But before we practice, let's take a look at the vocabulary. Sorry, the questions you're going to be asking your partner and um, trying to figure out the answers. So the first thing is, what type of training did Julia attend? What did she find the training? Did she find the training of great help? And in your opinion, how often should trainings take place? Okay. So I'm going to get you to work in in pairs teacher uh, yeah. before we go into the break rooms will you please read the whole conversation sure to we'll get a better understanding in the pronunciation please sure just give me a second okay Okay, so let's read it together. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Hi, Julie. <laughs> I one by one. <laughs> echo, the echo, echo. Okay, this is Jack. This is Jack. Jack. How are things going at work? How are, How are things going, 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 going at work? work? Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Everything is fine, thanks. Everything, Everything, is, Everything fine. is fine. Fine, fine. Yeah. How about you? How about you? How about you? I have a question. I just want to make sure that everybody understands that how about you? Do you guys like. understand how about? Yeah. How about? Yeah. How about? Yes. What, what do you, how do you say that in Spanish? ¿Qué tal tú? ¿Y vos qué onda? ¿Qué pasiones? ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué cuentas? Um, actually, the how about, how about means, or how about or what about is the same idea. You can say how about or what about you means que hay de ti. That's literally what it means. Que hay de ti. <laughs> so, no, no es tan calichero ahí. Como, que pecs de. Okay. Okay. How about you is que hay de ti. Okay, hay de usted. Okay. All right, let's continue. Uh, just perfect. Just yes, perfect. 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 Yes, perfect. Look. 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 I'm your father. <laughs> I was thinking that. Because <laughs> <laughs> terrible is this. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to stop there because no, it's not Luke. It's not Luke. <laughs> Look. Look. Yeah. Luke is the Lucas. Right? Ah. <laughs> Luke, Luke fuerte como el nombre. 
<laughs> yeah, Luke, Luke um, is, uh, is, is Lucas, right? With el nombre. Luke, yeah. O sea, yeah. strong. Me estoy dando lo strong. Luke es el nombre. Luke. Ah, ok. Luke. Luke. Ok. Also, also, you can say lukewarm. 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 You guys know what lukewarm is? No. No. Oh. Lukewarm means tibio. ¿Cómo, cómo? Tibio. Se escucha, es que alguien tiene ese micrófono. ¿Cómo fue? ¿Qué significa, dijo? Escuchemos la nota de voz. Después de la nota de voz, va a explicar la ticha. Ok. Ya no me acuerdo qué está diciendo. Luke estaba diciendo. Lucas, Lucas. ¿Qué significa? ¿Cuántas Lucas lleva? No sé. Lukewarm means. Video. 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 I'll, I'll write it on the chat. Video. 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 <laughs> but uh, what I don't understand why that word come into the conversation because we were talking about the pronunciation of look. I don't know if look one you are making the comparison comparison in I'm the pronunciation. Just, I'm just saying that the word look uh -huh. is a name or it could also be you use it as look one. Ah, okay. But in this case, in the conversation, no, so it's conversation look. nothing to do with the conversation. I'm just talking about for you to understand. Oh, yes, I know. I just want to make the difference between the, the how you pronounce, uh, so it's look, or, or okay. how it is. Okay, so, all right, so give me a chance there to explain. Okay, just give me a second. All right, so. So, um, with the word, with this word, okay, let me, let me circle it because I'm, I want to make sure that everybody understands it. Um, where is it? Okay, so this is not Luke. Okay. Luke, like I said, is a name or it can also be lukewarm, right? Which okay. is a preview, okay? But that's not the pronunciation of this word. The pronunciation of this word is look. Uh, uh, uh. Look. It's actually, remember we talked look. a little bit about that mm -hmm. sound um, mm -hmm. that we have like with uh, the were. Like for example, were you happy yesterday? Okay, uh, remember the uh sound? It's the mm -hmm. same sound with this one. This is look, uh, uh, uh. Okay. Like production, like production. Yeah, like production, exactly. Production. Okay. But we're going to do something. We're going to actually do a little exercise. I'm going to stop everybody here for a moment. I'm actually going to stop sharing because I want, I'm, I'm going to do this um, exercise for you guys to practice the pronunciation of this sound. It's actually what we call the schwa sound. Schwa. The sound is in English is called schwa. How you make the schwa is the following way. You gotta, first of all, relax your jaw, okay? Relax it, okay? So it, it cannot be, it can't be like very tense. It has to be just really relaxed. And then you also have to relax your tongue. Just has to kind of hang at the bottom of your, of your mouth, okay? So don't, don't raise your tongue. Don't put it in the middle. Just relax it and let it sit at the bottom of your tongue okay then what you're going to do is you're going to make the sound come from the back of your mouth and you're going to pretend like somebody hits you in the stomach okay and that sound when you go Ugh. okay yeah okay, okay. You, know, you know that feeling when something like hits you in the stomach and you're you're, you're not preparing and you go Ugh. you you go Ugh. Right, like inside, right? And that's the sound of the schwa. 
So it's going, it goes, uh. Look. Uh. Uh, but, no, no, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, one step at a time. Uh, one step at a time. Uh. 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 Okay, good. Uh. Another way you can remember the sound is when it's a sound that you make when you are thinking about something. You're like, uh. Uh. uh right, so when you're thinking and you, you need some uh, time, you're like, uh. uh that sound, okay? That's a schwa. So that's the sound you want to make when you say the, you pronounce the word look, L-O-O-K. Look. 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 Uh. Okay, so everybody just pronounce with them. Uh. 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 Look. 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 We're gonna take it one step at a time. Uh. 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 Now we're going to add a K at the end. Uck. 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 Now we're going to add the L at the beginning. Look. 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 Ay, yo, yo panza tengo. Ah. Me tiene el me too, me too. El one pack. Okay. All right. You guys got it? No, yes. It yes. Huh? Okay, good. Thank you. Right, good. Look. 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 Okay. Let's continue. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. Look. Look. I, I want, want to know, I want I want to know, know you attend, you attend, attend a training last year. Last year. How did you attend a training last year? Good. We are sending. We are, we are sending, sending the invitations. The invitations for the new one. For the new for one. The new for the new one. one. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I, did. yes I, did. I did. The training I attended. The, the training, training I attended. I attended. 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 Was about first aid. Was, was about, about first, first aid. aid. And prevention. And prevention. And prevention. Or the, um, sorry, after I start. Sounds good. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sorry about Sounds that. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Um, where was I? Okay. Sounds good. Where, where did it take place? Where, where did, did it take, take, take place? place? It was where? held. It was, it held, it was held, 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 held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? Do you recommend, Do you recommend, it? recommend it? I mean the training. I mean, I mean the, the training. training. Did you find it helpful? Did you find it helpful? Helpful. 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 Good. Yes, absolutely. Yes. 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 Absolutely. absolutely. Most of us. Most of, most of, of us, us. Were pleased. We're pleased. We're pleased. We're pleased. pleased. With the speakers. 
with the with spirit. 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 and practices. practices. And practices. And, and practices. 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 I personally learned a lot. I, I personally, personally learned, learned a lot. lot. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Alright, questions guys? No teacher. No? Oh, I okay, good. Alright. I hope nobody felt sick after the, the practice with the stomach. Right? <laughs> Everybody's okay. Alright. Okay, so we're going to once again open up the rooms. Remember, practice the conversation, answer the questions. All right. So here we go. Me too, teacher. Huh? Irene, are you there? Uh, your microphone is off. You are... Internet is very well this time. Uh, is a, I think that you, you, you are, your internet is slow right now. That's why I am, I am yes, saying just the but, first word. <laughs> I get the first word. Yes. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, Jerry. Uh, it's when you have- Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, Wendy, try something. Um, since you're having internet problems, uh, turn off your camera and maybe that will help. Okay. okay. Uh, I think we can hear you, right? Okay. Can you hear her? Yes, I, I can. That is. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, go ahead and practice. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you Julie? I'm going to be Jack. Hi. It was short and the crowd class hotel. Do you re recommend it? I mean, the training? Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of schools were classic with the speaker and practice. I personally learned it a lot. Okay. Uh, do you want to practice another time the conversation? The training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned it, uh, learned it a lot. Well. Switch again. Hi. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going to work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thank you. How, how are you? Yes, perfect. Last, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend 
was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? Take it, was place. Her, it was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speaker and practice. I personally learned a lot. Okay, excellent. We're going to have this question. What type of training did Julie attend? Uh, let's see. Aid and prevention. First aid and prevention. Yes. Did she find that training of great help? Yes, she did. Okay. In your opinion, how often should training take place? Um, I think monthly, monthly is necessary because if you are an employee, it's necessary to be to be prepared for the technology, for the new policies and, and other things. I think that was a good... Yes. Yes. First day. Yes. And prevention. Prevention. Second, did she find the training of great help? Ah! You guys finished or not yet? Not yet, teacher. We finished to practice the conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and continue. Okay, oh, okay. In your uh, very important first sight. Yes. Very important. Yes, because one time in a year is for me it's so few. Uh, yes. I think uh, we have to practice a lot. If you can learn about the first aid and prevention. If you have an emergency in your work, you have to practice. Okay. If you attend uh, uh, the training about first aid in your work? No. Uh, and for what? Uh, <laughs> uh, I still attend the accident in my work. Okay, okay. Uh, I was in a in a training about first aid in my in my work, but was uh, in December, I guess. In December, yes. And uh, I I think that the training of first aid uh, is only once once or two times. Modo, ya no llamo. Hola, teacher. Ya las preguntas eran nada más, verdad? Completar las preguntas. In English. Yes, to complete the questions or what is. We need and, to do. and practice the conversation. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Did you practice the conversation? No. <laughs> no, okay, we'll practice the conversation. No, we were, it's because I was looking, I remember more than a week ago, I received a text message on my WhatsApp in order to complete. Uh, Give me a second. I, okay.
sorry, there was a, there was no a, an emergency. <laughs> okay, no, I remember that I get a, a message on my phone asking me to complete a satisfaction uh, form. And you say that you will provide us with your correct name because there were two similar names. Yeah. But I, I cannot find that message. I was looking for that and I was asking to Luis and Johnny. I don't, because they sent us a, some different e uh, messages from different numbers and I cannot find it. But we still have time to complete that, uh, that one, right? Or no? I suppose so, but um, I, I don't, and, uh, to be honest, I, hold on. Did you um, say I'm that gonna, there, uh, there are two Jessicas, by the way? Yeah. When would you select I, the I facilitator? You hmm? I did send you my name. I don't remember. <laughs> I sent you my name. So is you are Jesse, you show here as Jessica Guerrero or Jessica? Jessica? Guerrero. Ah, de Guerrero. No, Jessica Lisset Guerrero. Ah, Lisset Guerrero. That's you? That's me. Ah, okay. But I can, I remember I made that uh, step, but on the previous course, 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 no, course, course, right? Course, uh -huh. course, okay. But I cannot find the message I received for this one. I don't know. Maybe they retrieve it. I don't know. Maybe it could happen because I. Um, I don't know. I, I. But but try to do it. I, I will. I will try to send you a message. If um, please. I find it. If if I find it, because I I don't know, because I just received the information that you guys had gotten it, but I don't think I exactly. like I, I received I... it. Yes, and there was at least I can tell you when, like, what time frame to look for. Ah, do you remember? I, I will. I will look for it. Okay. Ah, okay. Please, and okay. you can send. I'll see you guys in the breakout room in a moment. Okay. Right, in the okay. Main room. Moment. Okay. I found the teacher, what the message I was looking for. Okay. Luck. 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 Hoy sí, van a, se van a acordar de mí definitivamente con el, el, uh. Sua. Sua. Exacto. More than leche bowl. The, what is this? What is the way that we can find that sound? Swa song. Swa. Swa. I read it in the chat. And uh, Claudia, remember production. Production, just this production. <laughs> <laughs> Como comiendo hey. chicles. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, ahí mandé al, al team, al chat. De, eh, eh, esa encuesta, no sé si la habrán llenado cuando cayó. No, Yo lo mandé. Yeah. Bueno. Ya, yeah. tienen que haber llenado la tienen que haber llenado la encuesta que les llegó hace como una semana y Ajá. dos. Y el nombre de la teacher aparece como Jessica Lisset Guerrero. Wow. A mí me llegó hasta nombre? ahora la, corre, la encuesta. No, es que la que llegó ahora es la que vamos a hacer el final de la, de la clase, la última clase. Esta había llegado hace como dos semanas. Mm -hmm. Correcto. Es que Jessica, por eso yo no la había llenado. Uh, Entonces ya ahí se la reenvié. Ya la encontré. There's another Jessica, right? Ajá, por eso es que yo no la había hecho. Pero entonces oh, la teacher right. es Jessica Lisset Guerrero de Landa Verde. Vaya, ahorita ya la seleccioné para que no se me olvide. Uh, <laughs> me too. Uh, o sea que la vez pasada le tiré flores a la otra. Que... <laughs> Ay, no, qué problema. Ah, yeah. bueno, well, that's okay. We're, we're from the same team. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. 
So there you go. I, I wrote my name in the chat. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're going to move on to the next part. Okay. And see. Uh, okay, so here we go. So recommending trainings. Imagine you attended two of these trainings. Express why you would recommend them. So we have two possibilities. Well, we have four trainings here. We have anger management, sorry, self-motivation mm. training, customer service, cell phone etiquette, first aid training. Okay, so, the, so here we are. Four, um, four possible trainings that you could attend. And what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is to make a recommendation. For example, we can say about anger management, okay? About this first one. I highly recommend this training because it helped me control my emotions. Okay, so I want you to imagine you, you, you can uh, you can choose any one of these four trainings, and you're going to write a little, um, a little summary, a little review about the training, and express why you would recommend it. Okay? So right now, just write it down. Two of them. Anger management. Anger management. Are you guys finished? Remember, two has to be two of the trainings.
All right, you guys need more time? Anybody need more time? Yes, I need more time. Okay. Ah, me acabo de dar cuenta de, de algo, chicos, que se acuerdan que para el, para el primer día de clase yo les mandé el, el, um, el progr la programación ahí para los, um, los, los tutoring. Diez minutos. Uh -huh. Pero diez minutos de tutoring, ¿se acuerdan? Uh -huh. Pues um, si acaso se les olvida ahí mi nombre, ahí también está. Ah, ok. Ok. All right. So, what we're going to do now, now that you have done that, because I'm pretty sure that you guys have already finished. It's only two, ok? And you don't have to make it long or anything. Now, what you're going to do is the following. Now, your turn. You're going to write an email recommending a workshop or a training course and providing information about it. Okay. So um, that's actually going to be for homework. Okay. Okay. So um, I'll explain what you're going to do. So basically, you're going to be thinking about an email, sorry, a training you have um, gone in the past, or if you have had one of these trainings in the past, you can, you, can, you can talk about that. And you can use the information that you wrote down as an example. And you're going to be you're going to be creating this this um this email. Okay. So you're going to be writing this email. Okay. okay. Bye. Eh, chicos, quiero que quiero que me escuchen muy bien con, con las instrucciones que le voy a dar. Se les voy a dar español para que no haya ninguna confus confusión el día de, de, del lunes, ¿verdad? Cuando hagamos, continuamos con esa actividad. Vale. Ustedes van a escribir un correo como en este formato, to, from, subject, ¿ok? Y después el, 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 el cuerpo del correo, ¿verdad? Que normalmente como usted lo hace. Solo que les voy a pedir que um, no lo escriban ¿verdad? A, a mano, sino que lo escriban digitalmente y lo guarden de una forma que cuando el lunes hagamos esta actividad, ustedes pueden venir y sacar ese, ese, ese correo digitalmente y pueden copy and paste prácticamente. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro? Yes. No, no importa cómo que lo quieren hacer, pero tiene que ir digital de la forma que pueden ustedes copy y paste. Porque después vamos a hacer una actividad 
donde vamos a hacer precisamente eso, cut and paste. Ok. Ok. Questions? Ok. No questions. No questions. Ok. Good. All right, guys. So we're going to. We're going to stop sharing here and we're going to take attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Edgar. Ok. Eh, Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola. Present teacher. Eri. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Dan. Present teacher. Johnny. Present teacher. Josué. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Warner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Francisco. And Jenny. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so that will be all for today. Um, acuérdense, el lunes es el último día de clase. Entonces, por favor, no falten por nada del mundo porque acuérdense que tenemos que hacer esa actividad importante para Insafor. Insafor pide que se haga el último día de clase, no podemos hacerlo otro día. Entonces, tiene que ser para entonces y necesitan ustedes completarlo. Así es que, por favor, no falten el, el, el lunes, ¿verdad? Traten a toda costa de conectarse, aunque hayan tal vez fallas ahí con el internet y verdad no esté tan estable, traten de hacerlo o, o, o si les funciona mejor con datos también, verdad, de tal forma que todos se conecten. Además, acuérdense que por lo mismo de que por el eh, cuestión del tiempo, verdad, que necesitan por lo menos el 80%. Okay. Y acuérdense también de que necesitan hacer el examen final. Prácticamente eh, ustedes ya tienen suficiente información para poder terminar el examen final. En parte, si ustedes piensan, es un, una, una ventaja que vamos a terminar el, el lunes porque les da todo este fin de semana para poder terminar el final, el final exam. Entonces, prácticamente para el lunes, quizás a lo mucho que van a necesitar hacer es el ejercicio en el ejercicio 2 de la tarea 16. Eso es todo. ¿Verdad? De ahí prácticamente es, ustedes no tendrían que hacer nada. Así que por favor, trabajen mucho, mucho en esta, en esta plataforma para que tengamos solo 100. ¿Ok? Si es posible. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. La, la pregunta que estaba dando error, eh, ya se puede corregir porque yo la probé ahora y siempre me sale con error. Sí, sí, todavía por eso les decía de que todavía tenemos que um, esperar con eso, ¿verdad? Y no sé, la verdad no estoy muy segura si van a estar en eso mañana. Así es de que lo más seguro es que para el lunes. Pero al sol, yo, yo pedí que al solo saber, que me, al solo hacerlo, que se me puedan dejar saber a mí para que yo les... A comentar a ustedes. Así que eh, al solo que yo sepa, yo les pongo en el, en el chat y si no, pues sigan intentando, ¿verdad? Y como les digo, si no, pues el lunes, pero no les va a tomar nada, ¿verdad? Cuando ya se solucione, no se les va a tomar nada hacerlo. Pero sí. A todos 10 para el lunes. ¿Ah? A todos 10 para el lunes. Ay, <risa> <risa> De un solo, no se complique, 10 a 3. Correcto. 
ya podría terminar con todo eso, pero no. Pero más <risa> ok, eh, bueno, la persona que estaba agendada ahí para la, la sesión no está, entonces no sé si alguien quiere hacer alguna pregunta, eh, quiere alguna... Sí. Yo tengo una pregunta. Okay. Yo he estado haciendo la, la, la pregunta que dice Time, what arise she did at work. <risa> Esa es la del error. Esa es la del error. Ah, <risa> le Esa es la del error. <risa> hasta el she, Only one. Hasta el she, hasta el she puse al principio. Sí. <risa> <risa> Así que no se pre, por eso, eso no, no, ni siquiera se compliquen ahorita. El lunes lo, lo hacemos. Ok. Okay. Bueno, en Satsé, guys, ¿alguien eh, quiere quedarse? Bueno. Estoy libre, si no, pues, I'll yeah. see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Okay, okay. the same to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank Thank you. you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Tomorrow. Bye. Good Bye. night. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Johnny, do you have a question? Johnny, it's on mute. Sigue en mute. No sé si. Lo voy a poner en el. ¿Está así? Johnny? Johnny, are you there? Can you hear me? Johnny, can you hear me? Me escucha, Johnny. Johnny, me escucha. No sé, es que yo no, no le logro escuchar a usted, entonces no sé si usted me está escuchando a mí. Hoy sí. Johnny? Yes. Oh, ok, perfecto. Eh, ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? No, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Es que como, como vi que todavía estaba, estaba no, ahí, entonces ah, no, quería no. preguntarle si tenía algo. No, ¿todo, todo bien? ¿No hay ningún inconveniente? No, por el momento no. Ok, ok. In that case, well then, I'll see you Monday, ok? Ok, thank you. Thank you. See you Monday. Ok, see you Monday. Bye, Johnny. Bye.